Okay, well, you guys just got lucky. Uh, we are ending this uh, this glorious uh, War in the Sea TTE mod playthrough uh, event. And, um, yeah, I just got done doing about a two-hour uh, straight video um, where I talked quite a bit and the game crashed. Uh, a little over two hours to be honest with you but I got uh, luckily at there was an auto save and just to be really safe here let's just do one for my own <clears throat> peace of mind uh, because um, if I had crashed uh oh it would have been nice to put I think I maybe rambled on a lot in the last one, but we didn't really do anything crazy. What we did do is we, we launched all our supplies from New Hebrides to Guadalcanal, which they are basically there. Uh, we had launched these two supply ships to Port Moresby and uh, one group to Milne Bay, which is a small group, and then this uh, group coming back to repair. Um, which we will do. So what's going to happen is, um, and then this guy is just an oiler who seemed to slip by, which, hey, whatever. And, and the playthrough, he was not a oiler. He was a, uh, he was a uh, carrier which is lie. So let, let's just forget the past two hours ever happened and let's end this one. And uh, like I said in the other video that you won't see because for some reason it didn't record and crash my game, um, uh, I want you to, I guess, comment. Of, uh, I don't only have about maybe 30 people actually viewing my videos. I'm okay with that. Um, put down in the comments what you would like to see me do uh, a playthrough for um, but not something you know crazy specific I watch I think it's Taft in Exile who's another great channel you should all subscribe to if you like this type of content and better because they edit theirs I don't edit mine um, but he, he just I think he's completing one right now where he's using Man, I'm conflicting d different channels that I watch. But there's a channel out there that I watch that uses no aircraft carriers, just battleships. Uh, maybe it's Edified Gamer doing it. Um, but yeah, I don't want any contingencies like that. Just tell me what what mod you want me to play, whether it be Abdicom or Pacific Theater Mod or whatever, and we'll go with that. Um, I hear there's another one coming out but yeah we'll just do that so okay so the last thing we're going to do is click this Guadalcanal to uh, a level 5 base to end the game and then we're going to take a look at some of the ships we have and yeah call it a day uh, so you guys get a shorter video than what I was recording before so how's that And this is where it crashed last time. I went here and I went unload cargo, went kabooby, and then the game just crashed. So, yeah, that is what it is. I'm not too concerned. Um, but we are going to leave these guys right where they are. And we're going to take a look at what they what they look like up close when they are like up close, I guess. Let's get this guy a little bit closer. It might have something to do with the fact that. Uh, I do just kind of want to like ignore that and um, 
I guess bow fighters with torp with torpedoes would be better off. Um, tactical. Let's go destroy this guy. I do want you to be recognized as what you are. Hail with the guns. you in some type of Both fighters are going to do this. Um, guys play around with him a little bit if we can you should sink bro
So we're out of arc for the back guns, um, but that's fine. Fighters are tough. Let's have them attack again. Let them do their business. Let them get the kill. Are, we, are shots even coming close to him or no? the hell shooting star shells Bagley is it you no Porter I don't know who's shooting star shells someone is I'd say you're done, bruh. Now, once you get to critical, critical, that's pretty much the end of it, and you're done. So, let's get out. Okay, so RTB, you guys. Um, just check and see if there's anything on here I need to be concerned about. You stay over at us to Jeep screen, please. And did we let all you guys off? No, we did not. Let's go see if we're close enough to have a good field day photo op. No, we're not. Okay. We should be. It's a crappy day for it though. But Not too overly concerned with that. Mm. 
now they should be yeah they should be but they're not so that's fine so the game can't really render in two fleets that's fine. I'm not going to overly concern myself with that. It would have been nice to, to see, but um, fine with me. What about you, Milton Bay? You're unloading. Make sure everybody's unloaded. And uh, we're just going to let you sit there. Uh, we're going to wait for you to actually get in so that you actually see if I can do it from here again damage these guys got hit by a torpedo when a submarine was like as soon as we went into tactical it was like 500 yards away from us and then I made a mistake in uh, my where I went I turned the wrong way oh no we're not close enough yet All right, we are going to release you guys. Um, thank you for playing Minneapolis War Among Us and Prince William. And if we go to the dockyard and we see that Bogue is going to be 10 days. Um, yeah, oh, Prince William War Among Us, only four days. So these travel destroyers from Australia, I don't know much about them, um, but they do have some flaws. I believe it was the armor, but um, we'll see. Still only two losses. So at Port Moresby, with all our supplies in here, what, what did we want to do? Um, I think we would just want to do that, and that's enough. Um, we could make that a five as well. We, we may do just because, why not? Uh, what does it give us? One of the things I noticed about some of the playthroughs in the games is that the enemy usually has, especially in the Abdicom mod, Abdicom, or, or, or the enemy seems to have far more aircraft than we get. This is a level five base main base and six maybe it gets higher after the tick over or something or at noon and it goes up to 12 or something but yeah the, the numbers don't equal out to be impressive yeah we don't have a lot of engineering left but whatever I'm not too overly concerned what's on this one yeah, we got 81 engineering coming, so I'm not too worried. Uh, Milne Bay, we're not really concerned about upgrading you at all. Um, you're fine. Um, what else we got worrying about? I guess we'll wait until this guy gets here. I guess let's, let's just be smart over here, okay? Bye. Uh, the drum is here. Where's the drum? You have everything, so we're not going to play any games with you. Um, let's play this uh, visual visual again and see what we come up with. It's only going to show these ships. That's unfortunate. I wish it showed everything that was in harbor. I want to see that D-Day invasion look of 30 plus, I know it was 100 or 1,000 ships, but yeah, I'd like to see that, and the game doesn't provide that, which is too bad. Um, we're going to unload all cargo from that group. Make sure everybody's unloaded, which they are. 
And then we're going to do Hornet. What do you got on you? Anything? I didn't put anything on you, did I? It's fine. Uh, the other bow group. Unload all cargo. And there we are good. And last one is CVL card. And you have engineering fuel. And this is uh, probably the shortest video for me uh, ending um, before I click that button though I want this guy to be there and then we will end it um, so let's do that while we still can I'm not worried about anything else um, unless something invades and they deserve to die And you're going to unload all cargo. So you're self sufficient now, you're good. Um, so, at the conclusion of this, uh, did we want to Can we update anything else? No. You're good. Lots of supplies. Um, this Cooktown base apparently was supposed to be a fueling base um, because it doesn't refuel itself or anything, but I guess that was a staging point for fuel and troops and maybe even supplies, maybe. What I started doing was sending cargo and engineering and oil and fuel and supplies just to here and make that a turning point because you never want to leave Cairns uh, with a lot of supplies before the week is up because it only max it maxes out it doesn't carry over so if you're supposed to get what um, you know 3,000 supplies 300 engineering you know if you leave the engineering on there um, yeah there's you can find problems I think uh, So I always moved it over to this base because it doesn't refuel itself and then uh, wait until that got rearmed. Same for New Hebrides. Um, again the synopsis of the, of the enemy, um, you know, 162 ships I guess. Playing in the easiest mode. I'm not trying to be a, anything crazy. Uh, aircraft 615, uh, 409. So even though I try to like maximize my aircraft and not lose throwaway carrier air wings on a random basis, I still lost 409 aircraft. Um, at sea uh, we have you know quite a lot of ships I went with the Bogue as my main carrier groupings um, again once the once our we found it during the war that our large carriers were vulnerable um, we did go to mass production of you know these light jeep carriers you know CVLs, the Bogue class, if you will. There are four different classes of these. They only have one represented in the game. I think in one of the earlier videos I did, I did a little talk about it, but it's quite interesting um, to know that these light carriers or Jeep carriers existed and that they were of different varieties. Uh, so I think that's pretty cool. So, all right, enough talking, enough jabbering. We're coming up on that, that that time of the day here, so let's just do it, shall we? Um, bam. 
and then just to whatever, bam. Uh, and we can go up to level two on that as well, just because. Why not? And uh, let's sucker play, and it should end the game. And we're just going to let people come to us. Yeah, victory in the South Pacific. So, Guadalcanal has been secured by the newly constructed air base and already playing a pivotal role, providing air superiority over the Solomon Islands. The loss of men and materials during the Guadalcanal campaign has taken a heavy toll on Japan's war effort. The momentum of the war is now swings against Japan as the Allies make plans to continue to push through the Solomon Islands as well as start new offensives across Gilbert and the Marshall Islands. Japan's plans for a quick victory and negotiated peace are being beginning to unravel. So that's uh, that's what we call it, guys. Um, I hope my uh, I hope my hmm. What, what, what's the word to say? I know camping's over. Campaign's over, guys. That's all I can say. Um, we're going to call it, and uh, I hope you've enjoyed my blabbering. And uh, the Tokyo Express mod is done. And um, I, I do like this mod. Uh, the the base game was very limited and uh, once you expand on these mods the game for me just really gets exponentially better and uh, that's what I like about this game um, the models the, the variety of ships um, of course my PC doesn't love it graphically it should but for some reason it doesn't. Um, water renders and underwater and nighttime and yeah, I have a brand new LG 4K monitor. I have a, a Radeon XFX uh, 6700 GPU. Um, my CPU is a, a 7x uh, 3700x AMD CPU. Um, yeah, I'm working on 32 gigs of RAM, uh, Type 4, um, at 3200 speed, which I know is not the greatest, but whatever. It still should render better than what I see. Maybe it's my eyes are not 4K and uh, just 2K or 40K based on 2020, but they're not 2020 because I wear glasses. So, I, I'm going to end it um, here. If you comment below... And you want to see me do one of these random playthroughs again with War on the Sea? Tell me what mod you want me to use, and uh, we'll, I'll do it. Um, at least I, I hope I will, if I can load the mod. And uh, yeah, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed doing this, and uh, I hope to see you again. See you then.